Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I remove my makeup. And I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine, how I wash my face and what I apply to it afterwards. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And at the end of the video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also turn on that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos. So if you want to learn what I do to my skin, then please keep on watching. So first of all, I'm going to take off my eyelashes. And then to remove my actual makeup, I like to use this Clinique. It's a take off the day cleansing balm. It looks like this. You don't need a lot of this. I just like to grab a little bit and then just do this. This is going to melt off all of your foundation and any makeup that you have. So you just want to massage it into your skin. And right away you're going to see everything melting. This is going to look a little bit weird and funny and gross, but this is reality. This is what happens every night when I take off my makeup. So now that you've massaged everything into your skin, I just have a bowl of water right here. What I like to do is just wash my face after this. So I'm going to be washing my face. So now after I remove my makeup, I like to use, this is the Angels on Bare Skin and this is from Lush. And it's just a little like a exfoliant kind of thing. So I just like to take a little bit, just like this, and then you need to massage it with a little bit of water and it's going to create kind of like a paste. So I just like to exfoliate with this all over my face. It's kind of hard to do here because I usually do it in the restroom. So you just want to massage it all over. And then you just want to wash it off. So then after that, what I like to do, because as you can see, I still have a little bit of makeup left over right here. And you really want to exfoliate your face because makeup does tend to sink into your skin. And I do see a little bit of makeup around my nose. So what I like to do, I like to wash my face. And this is the Purity... Um, cleanser and I like to use my this is a Mia um, Clarisonic so what I like to do is just take it and just pour a little bit in here and this is going to remove the rest of the makeup that you have and it's also going to cleanse your face so as you can hear it has a little like vibrating motion And this brush turns off by itself so you know that you already did I think it's like a minute or maybe two I'm not sure so now you just have to wash your face so after I had washed my face I just dried it and now just to make sure all the makeup is off I like to take just cleansing water and I've been using this one. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. And this works for waterproof makeup as well, like for mascara. So I just like to whip my little cotton pad and just run it around my skin. Especially on the eye because that's where a lot of the mascara stays. Because I do use waterproof mascara sometimes. And as you can see, you still see makeup coming off. So now after I already cleaned everything, 
and my eyes do get real irritated when I do this. So after I do this, what I like to do, I like to apply a mask. And I only do the mask like two times a week. I don't do it every day. But I do like to apply and this is one of them that I like. This is a clay mask and it's a rejuvenating cucumber and pink salt. And this is going to detoxify your skin. It clears pores for renewed skin. So it's a 10 minute mask. I don't usually leave it the whole 10 minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do, I like to take this little brush right here. This is a concealer brush but I use it for the mask. And then I just like to apply it on my whole face. And this mask has like little exfoliating, like little sea salts. Is it sea salt? It's pink salt actually. So when you're about to wash the mask off, you can exfoliate more. But it's not a hard exfoliating. It's just like a soft one. So it's not really going to irritate a lot your skin since you're already exfoliated with the other stuff. So I'm just going to leave this mask for around 10 minutes and then I'm going to wash it off and I'll be right back. So after the mask, I already washed it off. So after that, what I like to do is I like to use this Mario Badescu. This is a toner and I like to store this on the fridge because I like it more when it's cold. So I just like to take another um, cotton pad. And just wet it a little bit and then I just like to run it all over my face this is really gonna help all the other stuff that you're gonna put on really sink into your skin so now after I put that on what I also like to do is on the days that I don't use the other um, mud mask I like to wear these um, facial like the sheet mask and this is from the brand found I got these at Walmart I think they're like two for five dollars and this is a brightening coconut sheet mask and it's gonna brighten uneven skin tone for healthy looking radiance so I like to apply this on my face so this is what they look like and then you just have to you just have to untangle the whole thing it looks kind of scary it looks like a little well it's a mask so you just want to put it on and really smooth everything in here. Try to cover your whole face. I know some of these masks are kind of hard to cover the whole face because they're kind of weird. Like right here, see it's not even covering a lot. So just try to smooth everything and cover most of your face with it. And then I like to leave this around 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, I will come right back and show you the rest. So it's been around 25 minutes actually. I'm just going to remove the mask. And it's going to leave like a little residue. What you want to do is just massage it into your skin. And then whatever is left. I just like to take just like a like a towel and just pat all the excess. So next what I like to do, I like to put an oil in my face just so it can absorb it and leave my skin real soft and hydrated. So I got a lot of these samples and this is a Biosense, Biosense, the Revitalizer and this is, it looks like this, it's just like little drops. I like how this lifts my skin it's real moisturizing so I just like to pour like little drops like this and then massage it just into your skin or your skin is really gonna absorb all the oils so after this what I like to do I like to put um, cream under my eye and this is the Hey Honey Open Your Eyes Eye Contour Lifting Fluid. I got this on an Ipsy bag. It looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'm just going to apply. You don't need a lot of this. Just like a little tiny amount. 
And I'm going to apply this under my eye right here and just massage it in there. And then on my lids. So now for the last step, I like to put on the moisturizer. And this is a Mario Badescu Buttermilk Moisturizer. It looks like this. You don't need a lot of this because a little bit goes a long way. So you just need like this tiny amount. And you just want to massage it into your skin. So this was the last step. I also like to get my facials every two to three weeks. I like to get the micro dermabrasion facial. So I recommend you guys doing facials. I know a lot of people say, well, I don't want to spend a lot of money on a facial. I can just wash my face at home. But trust me, you do need a facial. It makes a real huge difference, especially the micro dermabrasion facial. It really sucks everything out of your skin and it leaves it so smooth and clean. So if you guys want to check that out, I recommend you getting facials every at least every month I want to say so yeah this was it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and everything I use will be listed in the description box below so thank you so much for watching and until next time I will see you soon bye